Just listen to the morning sounds of all the birds. It's about five o'clock, 10 to five in the morning. The sunrise is beautiful. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode. Hopefully everybody's having a lovely day out there. Guys, if you're just joining us in the channel, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell for future videos. Guys, we found ourselves at Buffer Creek. Now, Buffer Creek is about 40, 45 minutes away from Bundy. We just wanted to get away from the hustle and bustle from all the busyness away from Bundy. We haven't been camping much as you guys know, we haven't been taking any few episodes but we just decided we are going to do this uh, this uh, this weekend. It's been a long time coming I feel like, yeah it, it's, it's been quite a long time so it's good to be back, it's good to be back with nature, it's good to be back camping and have a go at this. Behind me is what they call Buffer Creek. I don't know if this is a creek, this actually looks like a full on river, so it's a big fishing town, it's popular for its fishing, apparently there's quite a few, uh, there's quite a lot of fishing going on here, so as I say, an early bird gets a worm, I'm going to try throw in a line and see how we go, guys enjoy, let's go. A few moments later. All right, there's uh, no luck in fishing. You can see a little fish jumping all over the water. Problem using the, uh, the wrong bait. I'm not quite sure. But um, what we're gonna do for for the time being, guys, we're gonna take you up there and see how's the view like from here. But from around this place but up there and yeah one other thing when you come to this place make sure you bring a boat if you have a boat bring it because uh there's quite a lot of boats around here and it, it's like ha have a go at that i don't know if i can zoom in but you're going to probably see it from the air there's quite a few boats there. there's one two three four five everybody is going fishing um, so bring a boat and bring mosquito repellent. Far out, midges are pretty bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go. See you up there. As you guys know, as you guys might have known, we're trying to live a better, healthy lifestyle. So we're trying to walk, run, and uh, do a bit of gym whenever we can. But walking and running and just doing body weights for us is, uh, yeah. So 
when you're traveling or when you're on the road uh, it's pretty hard to get, uh, to get weight um, you don't want to be carrying that excess weight with you so I highly recommend these bands I don't know if you guys yeah um, just hang on yeah these bands here they're resistance bands they go up to different levels they're very light and they do they kind of do the job no they really do the go uh, they really do the job so uh we're doing it's in the morning right now we're doing exercises because that's us every day every day i go to gym and in the afternoons i go for a run liz walks and uh, she walks in the morning she walks in the afternoon so she's trying to get probably uh 20 000 steps for the day and uh, so we we're getting big into living a healthy lifestyle um but all right uh, rather than me talking too much we'll show you guys what exercises that i'm doing while you know on the road or traveling you know just small little exercises body weight is the way to go saves you t taking all those weights so here's a time lapse all right so just so simple exercises like that there's a whole lot of range of exercises guys i'm not a gym guru i'm not a fitness trainer this is what works for me and uh i hope it works <laughs> so this is what i'm doing so just to give you guys an idea so hopefully this helps someone out there resistant uh, resistance bands get those highly recommend them uh you can get them on ebay you can get them in the fitness shops and uh yeah that's us i'm pretty hungry now so we're gonna whip up some brekkie bacon and eggs let's go and the chef's hard at work look at that perfect eggs camping hopefully we won't get any gastro why would we get gastro? If you've been following us, uh, following us on social media on Instagram, you know I posted a, I posted a video when we, because we haven't been using that much the caravan, so this was in storage. Forgot to clean it last time, and the amount of mold when we opened it, uh, opened it up on Thursday. Yeah, go check it out on Instagram. This is our Instagram handle right here. If you're not checking us out on Instagram. Go check that uh, that that uh, that little reel out, and uh, you see how bad it is. So, but cheese that's rhino, nice. that's just the story I really need to hear before I'm about to hoe into food. <laughs> well, you got no choice. You're hungry, so. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of our first full day here at camp and uh, everyone's smell of dinners cooking everywhere is just amazing so i've just gone on a little bit of a sunset walk and i am waiting to see what was gonna what mother nature is gonna throw at us we've just had a really really lovely relaxing day today um, we've had some caught up with some people uh, that we've just met for the first time that are some of our followers and uh, a new residents to Moor Park Beach, uh, Sally and Jan. So, geez, thanks guys for a great afternoon today. It's been really lovely to spend some time with you. And um, it's been just perfect weather. It's been really, really hot. And uh, yeah, we're really, really enjoying um, being away from home, being, I've forgotten how much I love being in the van. You know, it's just great. So yeah, so let's check out this sunset and see what's on offer. I'll spin you around. How's that? It's going to get awesome. And off they go. Flying foxes. The bats. Oh, <laughs> oh,
just like that. Have a look at this. It's already uh, lamb and roast potatoes. It's going to be awesome. So we can't wait. So love, let's go eat. <laughs> Morning, what's going on guys? As you know, it's uh, that time of the day we're packing up the van and uh, we need to check out at like a 10 o'clock and um, yeah, so what's the routine? You having a coffee? You having the a cup of tea? is Liz gets to finish her cup of tea first yep, or she doesn't it. do anything. Yep, yep. <laughs> so we're going to ditch the morning walk. Um, we're going to do that at home. Yeah, we, we'll do that at home. Um, I've got a Zoom I need to be on at 10 o'clock. Um, all about beauty. So I, need, I need to touch all up on that. All your weight loss stuff and uh, oh, yeah. beauty. Yep. All my health journey. So that needs to be 10 o'clock. So I need secure internet for that. So, so the option is stay here, bake in the sun off site with the van and or leave an hour earlier because we're not far from home and go home, make another cup of tea, sit there on a big screen so I can see all the products really carefully and um, choose the one that I'm going to use because, you know, now that I've lost nearly 40 kilos, I, um, I need to start looking after my skin a little bit. <laughs> so that's the plan. So I'm going to tidy up all in here, put all the bits and pieces away so they don't wobble. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not going to take much. We've already done no, the bed. No. So we're getting so much faster. We, we're getting so much faster. So are we are we going to cook Reiki? I'm starving. And are we going to do rock, paper, scissors? Who dumps the No, shit? we're not going to bother rock, paper, scissors because he knows I'm going to win. So that's Ryan's job. So that's my job. <laughs> I get the fun job, right. Uh, but other than that, guys, check out this place. What's this place? We haven't actually talked about this place. We'll, we'll talk about that outside, which I can show you properly. All right, yep. Uh, you've seen the drone video. That's the aerial, uh, that's, the, that's the aerial view from, uh, from up there. So yeah, she's gonna talk about it. She's the one that does all the bookings and stuff like that. I'll do that while he's doing the walk I just, um, <laughs> Yeah, so I just I, I just drive and uh, yeah, deal all the fun stuff. Yay! <laughs> all right, guys, uh, we're gonna let you know this place, what it's all about. Just yeah, give us ten. Okay, Ryan's doing the walk of shame. I have a dump point here at this place, which is great. At least the caravan is covering my ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's not I'm not being seen. And is the code here? You can edit it out. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go do something a bit more interesting than watch Ryan do the walk of shame. Cheers. Guess who won? Lost rock, paper, scissors? No. Didn't even play the game. All right. So this is the campground. This is called Rocky Point Retreat. Now everybody's pulling out at the moment. They've got all these beautiful um, street names for your camping things. So this is a Razzy Segler Way. So it's all named after fish. It's really, really cool. And this camp is extremely well set up. Lots of keen fishermen come here because the, um, what's it called? <laughs> oh my god, blooper, blooper. <laughs> Baffle Creek. Baffle Creek is notorious for the area for the place to go to catch fish. So this campground, oh god, it's massive, it's hundreds of acres, but there was so many people here when we pulled in the other day. And um, yeah, so everybody comes here, they all go fish, there's a boat ramp here. The campground is spotlessly clean. Have a look at this. I'll just this is another um, sign for the name of the, the, the of the camping area that you're in. How cool is this? So it's incredibly well laid out here. All sorts of bins everywhere around the edges of the camp for recycling and rubbish. Sites are clearly named, massive big sites. You can fit two or three vans on a site and it is $15 a person a night. Uh, boat ramp is just down here. It's a good solid um, concrete boat ramp. Uh, it is a tidal river, so 
um, that is really good to know that it's concrete. Okay, so Rocky Point Retreat, we give this at least an eight out of 10. And the reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because of the midges, oh my gosh. You know, we didn't have enough stuff on down at the river and we have both really uncomfortable with, with lots of scratching. But facility wise, it is a 10 out of 10. Location, it is a 10 out of 10. It is such a well set up facility. Um, it's great. So yeah, we will definitely come back here again. Um, so, yep tune in next time guys and remember if you like this episode please like and subscribe hit that button and that way you'll be notified of all future episodes so off track explorers had a great weekend away and now we're heading home cheers <laughs>